Joyride is a comedy that came out last year in 2023. Um, the, it is a comedy, a crude, um, raunchy comedy uh, starring four different um, women who are all Chinese um, women. And this movie, when I saw it last year, I didn't necessarily have the highest of expectations. Boy, was I blown away um, when I saw this in the theaters last year. Um, this movie's flippin' hilarious. It reminded me a little bit of something like Bridesmaids. There is a lot of raunchy, um, crude humor in this movie. All of it just very funny. All of it involving, um, you know, awesome women that are are unique and, you know, have their their things that make them awesome. And I absolutely love movies like this. I love female-led um, comedies. I just think they work really well. Um, it, you know, we see, we've seen a lot of, uh, male-led, crude, raunchy comedies. Um, and always in those movies, women are just, you know, pretty women doing women things. You know, they're not, it's all the stereotypes. Um, so now I, I love that we've had, like, Bridesmaids and Joyride, um, No Strings Attached that came out last year as well, where women are in the, in the front and center doing things that women do. I mean, it's not just this stereotypical, I'm a pretty girl and I put on makeup. There's so much more to women than that, and I appreciate that we're getting these comedies like that, that are crude and crass and, and raunchy. Um, I, I, I just, I love that that's happening, um within the last, you know, 10, you know, 15 years here. Um, so this one is particularly about um, four women who, you know, through circumstance kind of end up together. Um, we have the two women, Lolo and, uh, oh, what was her name? Megan? I can't remember. Um, Is the other? Audrey. That's it. Audrey and Lolo. And they're two best friends since uh, they were kids. And they go on Audrey's business trip where um, Lolo's cousin comes along. And then they also go see um, Audrey's college friend, uh, played by Stephanie Shue. I can't remember her character's name. But anyways, they go and, and meet up and it just kind of becomes a girl's trip with um, Audrey's business trip, essentially. And this movie is just stinking hilarious. I love each and every single one of these women. Um, Stephanie Hsu does such a great job, um, you know, this was right after Everything Everywhere All at Once, essentially, um, this movie came out, I want to say in March of last year, like, right at the time that the Oscars happened, um, she just, she's hysterical in this movie, and she does such a great job, um, uh, the, the gal who plays Lolo, I'm so bad with names, um, she's phenomenal as well, just plays this this woman that, you know, doesn't care, is going to be herself, um, I'm just gonna sh go for it, why not, um, and then there's also, uh, Deadeye, they call her, um, she's great as well, they are great as well, um, I, I just, I, th I think the four women leading this is just absolutely wonderful, and it is just so stinking hilarious, it does have that raunchy, crass humor that, you know, if it's not your thing, then you're not going to like it. But if you are into, you know, weird, crass humor, this is one for you. Um, I love the things they poke at in this movie. Um, you know, K-pop and uh, fame and, um, you know, um, you know, being yourself, um, not being afraid to be who you are. Um some of the messages that are in these movie, this movie, and it, it, it's just, it's fantastic. Um, stereotypes is another thing that's kind of played out in this movie. Um, and while it is kind of the, the thing we've seen before, in a sense, um, it does do things differently, and I like the things that it does differently. Um, but yeah, the big thing is, this movie is really funny. I was laughing in the theater big time when I saw this movie, um, and there was probably a good 10, 15 people in there when I saw this movie. Um, and even watching it at home last night, I was laughing. I was laughing by myself, um, laughing very hard. There's just, 
so many f f hilarious moments in this movie, and it is fun. The chemistry between the four are, are phenomenal. Um, trying to think of negatives with this one. It is a little long. It, you know, I wouldn't even say it's that long. It's only an hour and 40 minutes. There is, I'll say this, there's a particular storyline in this movie um, while kind of a beautiful, heartfelt moment, it almost doesn't feel needed. Um, I feel like you kind of just take it out. It, it slows it down a little bit, and it kind of gets convenient when it gets to this con this particular story point. Um, you know, like I said, this is very much a movie, in a sense, that you've seen before, where the friends are going to fight. There's going to be a moment where they're not talking to each other, and then we're going to go back. And that's kind of the moment where it slows down a little bit for me. There's not as many, there's not really any laughs going on at all during that five, ten minutes. Oh, excuse me. So, ugh. so yeah, I would say maybe in that sense, um, it does slow down a little bit. But as far as a comedy goes, it's really funny. Um, again, if you don't like crude, crass, raunchy humor, this is not for you. But, um... I found this movie particularly hilarious um, the two times I've watched it now. I love the chemistry between the women. Um, and I love that we have a female-led comedy. I think that's a wonderful thing to see. Um, so, yeah. Um, is there other things that you can maybe complain about, I, I guess? Again, it's comedy. Um, as far as comedy goes, it made me laugh quite a few times. Therefore... It's, it's great comedy. Um, so yeah, as far as this one, I don't got too much more to say about it. I am just going to give it a 9 out of 10. It is a thoroughly enjoyable movie as far as comedies go. Is it the greatest movie of all time? No, but it is a really great comedy. The purpose of the comedy is make me laugh. It made me laugh. Um, so yeah, guys, that is my review of Joyride. If you did not check this one out, check it out, because it did kind of bomb in theaters. Um, and I hope this one gets a following, because... It's such a great movie, and I want to see more movies like this. Um, I, I want to see women being themselves, being crazy, being crass. I like that. It's just cool to see after all these years of men being the crazy, raunchy ones. And I'm annoyed with it. So, yeah, guys, uh, that is my review of Joyride. I hope you have yourself a great day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And good God, do I need to get some sleep.